Hey folks, what's up? It is Rob. Welcome back to the Polymer Summit. I am joined here on the couch by Michael Bly, a software engineer on the Firebase team. Uh, Michael, you just gave a talk on Polymer and Firebase. Can you maybe uh, tell the folks who haven't seen that talk yet, what are some of, the, some of the highlights that you covered? Yeah, sure. So basically I wanted to talk about how web components with Polymer is a great way to sort of build awesome front-end applications by composing these simple elements together. And Firebase is sort of the same thing for your back-end. So you take these sort of simple things like a real-time database and an authentication system and you put them together into an app and I was also really excited to be able to announce that Firebase cloud messaging uh, for push messages is now available on the web and was just released today right on awesome okay so yeah uh, so you mentioned the cloud messaging stuff can you maybe go a little bit deeper on that and, and talk about you know some of the things that that'll will help folks do yeah, so with with Firebase Cloud Messaging, essentially you can send messages to users of your web app whether or not the app is open. So the same way that native apps get push notifications, you can do that on the web. And it's been possible for a long time, but Firebase Cloud Messaging really makes it easy. Cool, awesome. Okay, now for, for the folks watching, you know, if you could have them go do one thing, what would that be? I'd say check out Polymer Fire. It's the official custom elements for Firebase. That's at github.com slash Firebase slash Polymer Fire. And also check out Firebase Cloud Messaging. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you all for, for watching. Uh, we're going to continue shooting live from the Polymer Summit. So, so please stay with us. And also, you can always ping us on Twitter at hashtag Polymer Summit. Uh, again, thank you, Michael. I'm Rob. Stay with us. See ya.